Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Delicious Goods. Today we will be making apple fritters. Now I don't ever remember making apple fritters, but I have made apple fritters in the past. I just don't remember recording it. So, um, today that is what we're going to do. We are going to make some apple fritters. I was originally going to be making sugar cookies from a pack like this. Um, I just, and I'm like, oh, let's make sugar cookies because I have a taste for them. And then I bought this um, vanilla frosting so we could frost the uh, cookies. But then I discovered that on the back of the sugar here, they have a recipe for frosted sugar cookies and they give you what you'll need for the sugar cookie and then the vanilla buttercream frosting to go with it. So um, I figured, you know what, we can make that one day off of this little bag of this recipe. So we can uh, we could do that instead of making this. So I'll probably just save this for something else. Maybe I could do something else with it. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. I actually have the recipe on my laptop. Uh, I did get a new laptop. Um, the old one that I used to record on, it was something wrong with the charging port, I guess, like the battery. So the computer wouldn't recognize the battery. And, well, I uh, got a new laptop. So it is, it's good for what I want it to do. I just use it for writing, which that is going spectacular. Uh, I'm on, I finished typing my first book, now I'm on a different story that has to deal with different characters, and that is going very well, too, because I'm already on chapter 5 with that, so, so yeah, um, but let's get started with the apple fritters, I was going to say apple pie fritters, um, so what we'll need is a cup of all-purpose flour, a fourth cup of sugar, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one-third cup of milk, or a third of a cup, not one-third. Well, same thing. Uh, an egg and one chopped apple. Now, it doesn't say peeled apple. It just says chopped. Um, this I don't think this is the normal recipe I use because I remember adding like a little bit of vanilla extract, but luckily for us, I don't have vanilla extract, so this recipe works great. Um, and then the glaze is two cups of powdered sugar and a half a teaspoon, one and a half tea tablespoons of milk. Uh, so we're going to get started. I'm going to move this. You know, maybe we will make these today too. I don't know. Um, but let's get started. So I'm going to turn this. Actually, hold on a second. I got to make sure. Okay. Anchor that down. Anchor the camera down. Alright, so we're going to combine pretty much everything in a bowl, besides the eggs and the milk. So, I need baking powder, I believe that's in here, right? That's cornstarch. Uh, I know I have, I know I have some, I know that sure. Okay. It has to be in here then. Is it baking powder? Yes it is. Okay. So baking powder, flour, sugar. Oh, I gotta see the recipe for a second. Gotta tilt this up. Cup of flour, uh, salt. That's what Okay, anchor that down. So, in the bowl, we do one cup one cup of flour. Okay, that's good. 
All right, one cup of flour, a fourth of a cup of sugar. Fourth of a cup of sugar. Done. Three fourths teaspoon of salt. of baking powder. Um, let's see, that's a half a tablespoon. That's a teaspoon and this has to be the half. Yep. Alright, so then we're gonna One and a half. One and a half. Thing. Uh, teaspoons of baking powder. And then a third of a cup of milk. One egg. And an egg. So I'm going to. So I'm just going to take this, mix it all together. Okay. So you have all your dry ingredients in a bowl. Okay. Then we need a one third cup of milk. One third. And then one. So then, I'm going to move this. All right, so now we have everything in here. We have our milk. Um, I have over here, I'm going to turn this a little bit. I have over here a pan of oil. I'm going to turn that on. And now it says to heat it at high heat. So that's what I'm going to do. And then once it's ready to go, I'm going to lower the heat just a little. Actually, I'm going to lower it now. I'm just going to do a, a 7. So let's go ahead. There's one egg. Remember, always crack your egg in a separate bowl before um, putting it in with anything else, just in case you get a bad egg. All right. So now, with all this done, I'm going to not do anything just yet. Because I'm going to chop. Now, here I have a, uh, yeah, a Granny Smith apple. I'm sure you can use whatever kind of apples you want. But I will say uh, you never want to use a sweet apple while making something sweet. Because then the sweetness will be a little bit of a little overbearing, but that's okay. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut this. So you, I'm going to cut off the top. Actually, that works. And then I'm just going to cut down like this. That way, this part is the core, and then you have the rest of this. Now, this may not be fully to the core, but that's okay. Ooh, these are pretty good. Mm, that is a good apple. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop them. Like this, okay, and cut them into pretty much sticks. 
and then I'm gonna just chop them 